Are you torn between the sleek SodaStream Enso and the premium look of the Arc Carbonator 3? Now choosing a high-end carbonator is a big decision, especially when both machines offer similar design aesthetics at around the same price point. But with Enso's slim profile and the Arc's standard CO2 compatibility, which one really deserves a spot in your kitchen? Stick around, by the end of this video, you'll know which one is worth the investment and which one might leave your drinks and your wallet a little flat. Let's start with the basics of the SodaStream Enso. It's priced around $250 and comes with a few features that I've liked. It's compatible with the same bottles that the Art and Terra models use, and it boasts a sleek and compact design. But is that enough to justify the high price? Then we have the Arc Carbonator 3, a machine with a heavy premium metal feel and a strikingly clean design. It uses standard CO2 cylinders that screw in, meaning refills are easy and cheaper. But does its kind of bulky frame and non-dishwasher safe bottles hold it back? Let's look at the SodaStream Enzo first. I've had this machine for over a month now, and boy, have I got some thoughts for you. First, the pros. If you're coming from the Terra, the Art, the fact that you can use the same bottles in the Enzo is a big win. There's no need to buy new ones. In fact, you're probably gonna wanna use these slim bottles if you get the Enzo. Just trust me, I'll explain more later. The Enzo's slim profile is probably its best feature. It's sleek, it's modern, and it fits into slimmer spaces without issues. But that's kind of the end of my pros. It's a pretty short list, huh? Now the cons. Chrome is beautiful until you touch it. And the Enzo's chrome finish might look high-end, but it attracts fingerprints like a magnet. And for a $250 machine, I was expecting a bit more substance. The Enzo's plastic heavy build just doesn't scream luxury. It just feels cheap. And besides, it looks premium, but as soon as you touch it, it does not feel it. The carbonation is almost identical to the Terra. Press a button at the top and that's fine. My biggest issue with the Enzo is the bottles. If you even overfill these bottles just a little bit, you get tons of water on the counter. It's super frustrating, super annoying. I end up using these bottles because they just don't spill as much. I don't even understand why did they make a whole new bottle design for this to really just like confuse consumers as to which bottle they should get. This really frustrated me. It just all feels like a huge money grab, trying to lock people into your proprietary bottles, your proprietary cylinders, and extract as much profit as possible. Just feels very, very mega corp to me. Next up, we have the Arc Carbonator 3. This was my very first soda machine, so it does have a special place in my heart. It's a machine that prides itself on its design. So let's dig into the pros. One of the Arc's biggest advantages is it uses a standard screw-in CO2 cylinder, no need to lock yourself into the SodaStream proprietary system. You can refill from a lot of different exchanges. I just, I really like having an open source standard like this. The Arc also has a really premium metal build, and this is where it really shines. The heavy construction feels substantial, feels premium, feels worth the price. It's not just a tool, it's a statement piece in your kitchen. It's got clean lines and a minimalist look, and the Arc just blends perfectly into a modern space. It's the kind of machine you wanna show off. It's the kind of machine that people notice in a kitchen. Now, the cons about the Arc is, you know, it is pricey, it's around $200, but it's still cheaper than $250 in so. It is bulky, so if you're limited on kitchen real estate, you know, it is gonna take up more space than the Enso, especially from back to front. Also, the bottles can't go in the dishwasher, you have to hand wash them, so that might be a deal breaker for some, can be a bit of a hassle. So which one is worth the money? Both these machines are undeniably expensive, but there is a clear winner here, and it is the Arc Carbonator 3. Unless you absolutely must have a SodaStream and you want a fancy looking fingerprint magnet, then sure, blow your money on the Enzo. But I'd say just get the Art or the Terra for under a hundred bucks and buy yourself a larger CO2 bottle that you can directly connect if you absolutely have to have a SodaStream. The Enzo is just not a good machine. I've used it extensively for the last month to prep for this review, and I cannot in any good conscience recommend it against the Arc or really any other cheaper soda stream. It feels like someone at Pepsi saw the Arc sales taking off, decided they needed a competitor, and looked at their past products and said, hey, we have this soda stream Genesis that looks kind of nice, let's make it Chrome. No, seriously, go look at the SodaStream Genesis. It's kind of just looks like this. So look, if you prioritize design and durability, the Arp Carbonator 3 is gonna feel like a luxury upgrade every time you use it. It's got a solid build, sleek aesthetics, and you're not locked into the SodaStream proprietary money-sucking system. 
So that's a huge bonus. Now, are you still on the fence? Let me know in the comments. Are you leaning toward the Enso or the Art Carbonator 3? If you already own one, please share your experience and hit that like button if this breakdown helped you. And don't forget to subscribe so I can keep bringing you more real world in-depth reviews like this.